Hey everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. Let's begin this video, which can be of use for your RBI assistant examination as well as your RBI grade B examination. Yes, guys, you have heard it right. You can expect RBI grade B notification anytime soon in the upcoming months. So prepare yourself, fasten your seat belt because the long drive is uh, waiting for you. Okay, so let's begin today's video, which can be of use for you all. So the first question that we have is what is the theme? of the World Sustainable Development Summit, <clears throat> which was organized by Terry from February 16 to 18, 2022. So here guys, the right answer is option C, towards a resilient future. Now this is an annual summit organized by Terry, the Energy Resource Institute of India. And in this summit, basically the experts in the field of environment come together and they discuss solutions that can help in sustainable development. So this year, the theme was uh, towards a resilient planet. So this is the major theme and the sub theme, ensuring a sustainable and equitable future. Okay, so this much is enough from exam point of view, particularly from the RBI assistant exam point of view, this would be enough and for grade B also, this is enough do remember it is the 21st edition of this summit that was held and because it is an annual summit and that too of a great scale therefore they can ask uh, the edition as well in your examination so do prepare the edition also next question is uh, which of the following campaign has been launched under the pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana so guys you have the five options in front of you out, out of these Five options. Mary policy, Mera Haath. Mere Haath is the right answer. Now, basically, in this year, this Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana has entered its seventh year. So, in 2016, this scheme was launched, and this year, uh, in February this year, the scheme has uh, has completed seven years, or basically six years ha uh, has been completed by the scheme, and it has entered into its seventh year. And on the occasion of that, this uh, campaign was launched under the scheme only. Now, under this campaign, basically, the policy or the information regarding the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana will be provided to the farmers at their doorstep. At the same time, the policy enrollment will also be done. Basically, farmers who are unaware and, and, and uh, who do not, uh, who have not availed this scheme and have not enrolled in the scheme so far, they will also be enrolled under the scheme. Okay, so that is the purpose of this. Mary policy, Mary Hath campaign. Moving ahead, <coughs> how much is the center's share in the Rashtriya Uchtar Shiksha Abhyan scheme uh, for FI 22 to 2026? So, guys, you should be aware of the fact that this scheme has got the extension from the central government till 2026. So, this is the latest news also. Uh, with the extension, the center has approved the new outlay for the said period from FI22 to FI26. And among that or out of that total budget, 8,120 uh, crores have been allocated and or we can say 8,120 crores will be out of the center's pocket and the rest 4,000 uh, something crores will be from the center, will be from the state's pocket, okay? <clears throat> so guys, it is a centrally sponsored scheme that we have already uh, known now. Now 12,929.16 crores. So this is the complex digit that they have given to you all. Now this is the total outlay out of which the central government is having 8,120.97 crores. States are having 4,800 uh, 8.19 crores as its share. So this is the sharing of the expenditure in this Rashtri Uchtar Shiksha Abhyan. Now what is the uh, purpose of this scheme? The, the scheme aims to develop the infrastructure of the higher education institutions across the states. So that is the major purpose of this scheme. Now there are components as well under the scheme, which of course are not very important from the phase one point of view, but they can be asked from you in the phase two 
of ESI if there is a question on higher education and the steps taken by the government to boost the quality of the higher education. So there you can uh, cite this scheme as an example. <clears throat> so guys, um, the budget that has been earmarked for the coming five years, that is 12,000 uh, crores approximately. So that budget will be utilized for the 1600 projects, okay? Now under the new phase of the scheme, the state governments will support gender inclusion, equity initiatives, information, communication, technology, employability through vocationalization and skill upgradation. So guys, these were the focuses of the next phase or these are some of the uh, highlights of the next phase that is the uh, time period from fi 22 to 26 so guys here is the next question for you all where is asia's biggest big <coughs> biggest bio cng plant the govardhan plant located so guys here indore is the right answer nothing is there in this news <coughs> sorry but it's just that you have been given with the capacity of this plant as well so govardhan plant obviously it will be run with go with the fuel of gober or the biomass fuel okay so it has the capacity to treat 550 tons of segregated wet organic waste and produce 17000 kilograms of cng and 100 tons of organic compost per day so this is guys the capacity and since it is asia's biggest therefore capacity is also important for you all to know and remember moving ahead this is the next question how many drones are flagged off under the kisan drone yatra by uh, prime minister narendra modi okay <clears throat> so yeah guys here 100 is the right answer basically recently the kisan drone yatra was flagged off in which 100 uh, drones were basically flagged off by the prime minister in 16 states okay so that this is the current news now guys you should also be aware of the fact that the government is aiming to promote the use of drone in almost every sphere of economy particularly agriculture economy so from here one question is springing up in my mind and that is tell me by which year would the agriculture sector be completely made renewable okay so the entire <coughs> entire electricity that is supplied to the agriculture sector or that is used by the agriculture sector that will be sourced from the renewable uh, renewable sources therefore the entire agriculture sector would become the clean and green sector by which you are telling me the year in the comment section below this is a very latest announcement made by our union uh, agriculture minister and minister of power also rk singh agriculture ke minister is different and minister of power is different although i took it and took both the names in one sentence therefore i'm clarifying that don't take that both the ministers are same it is RK Singh. This announcement was made by the Minister of Power and New and Renewable Energy. Both of them are different ministries. The minister is same, RK Singh. He made this announcement recently. Tell me. Okay, now coming back to this news. So we all know that drones, the government aims to promote drones in India. Therefore, the motto of drone Shakti was also highlighted in the budget this year. Okay. So from this news, what are the key points that you need to remember? 16 states, 100, 100 Kisan drones plus Garud Aerospace. This is the company guys, uh, the uh, owner of the drones basically, which has initiated this entire thing. And the inauguration, basically the ribbon cutting, as you can say, was held at the hands of uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. But the initiative was the brainchild of this Garud Aerospace. So do remember this. Okay. <clears throat> now regarding drones only, there is one more fact that I want to highlight is recently the drones, the import of drones have been banned by a government of India. And do remember now the drones cannot cannot be imported in India until or unless they are for the research and development purpose. Okay, so only for that purpose, the drones are allowed in India and apart from this purpose, the other usages or the imports of drones are banned. 
Okay, so this is another news that you also need to be aware. So guys, here this session ends. I hope that you have liked the content provided by us. And if you really liked it, then do not forget to subscribe the channel, hit the bell notification. Thank you so much. Good day. Have a nice preparation strategy. Prepare hard for the examination. And this is all for today.